Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about the T-Mobile data breach. Uh, if you have been in a cave or under a rock, you probably missed the news that T-Mobile suffered a data breach. While it was initially reported that up to 100 million users of the T-Mobile network were affected, it's now been confirmed that it's closer to 50 million, which is still a large number of people. And probably if you're watching this video, you are a T-Mobile subscriber and this breach affects you. Doesn't matter if you are a T-Mobile customer who uses the prepaid service. It doesn't matter if you use T-Mobile's Wi-Fi uh, broadband internet service, or even if you use their cellular service, you are definitely at risk from this large scale data breach. Now, while it hasn't been confirmed how these bad act actors got into T-Mobile's network, the truth is, is that this information has been released on the dark web and you're talking about information such as your names, social security numbers, uh, addresses, passwords to your T-Mobile account. So everything that makes a perfect recipe for any cyber criminal to commit identity theft, or even to take over your T-Mobile account. So it's a pretty serious data breach. So that's why I am going to share several tips to kind of help you understand how this breach happened and the nature of cybercrime and of course what steps you can do in order to help protect yourself from this massive data breach. And massive it is. So the first thing that we need to talk about about as far as cybercrime is concerned, is that 99% of cybercrime actually relies on human interaction. So most of the scams and the attempts that you see aren't someone breaking into your device. And I know uh, when I posted this yesterday on social media, people were asking about their devices that they needed to get uh, internet or not internet, but uh, cyber or antivirus software for their devices. Uh, if they needed to change the password on the devices, uh, understand that this breach happened on the end with T-Mobile. And this actually fits in the 1% of data breaches that occur because cyber criminals normally target larger corporations. You smaller folks out there like myself, criminals really don't care about trying to break into your device because it is too hard most of your tech devices, or I should say all of your tech devices, have the protection built in that are going to help prevent criminals from logging into your devices. Those tools are firewalls that are installed on every Windows and Macintosh computer. Uh, the fact with your smartphone, you're connected directly to a cellular network, which under most circumstances means that you have information <laughs> or your information isn't going to get accessed by criminals. Um, but also you have antivirus software built into your operating system. So, um, and phones only really get affected if you download a bad app from the App Store or the Google Play Store. So all of your devices is protected. So you sometimes have to worry about that 1% because that is the percent that's out of your control. The other... 99% of it, you definitely can take steps to secure, make secure passwords, change your passwords during breaches like this and other things I will talk about further in this video because no one wants to see this or have to deal with this scenario. You've been hacked. So um, definitely make sure that you follow, or follow the following steps. I love how I said that um, to make sure that you're safe. Because one of the things that can happen with cybercrime is credential stuffing. And this happens because throughout the years, a lot of data breaches have occurred. And so that means a lot of your information is sitting out there on the dark web. If you don't take steps to change passwords in situations like this, they definitely can cause harm and allow criminals to get into your, into your devices. So... Yes, in light of this breach, you probably should go ahead and change all the passwords for all of your devices. And the reason I say that is because most of you 
are probably using the same passwords for all of your devices. So it doesn't matter um, if you're using it for social media, financial accounts, uh, you name it, you're probably being lazy and using the same password. So if you know that you're only using the uh, a single password for your T-Mobile account, you can only change that password. But if you've been lazy and you don't have to leave a comment in the comment section saying, yes, Burton, I'm lazy. I know there are some of you out there that are. You just need to get into the habit of making sure that you uh, change your passwords for your devices to make sure that someone can't access your T-Mobile account and make changes to your account that will allow them to purchase equipment in your name, uh, swap their cell phone for your cell phone, meaning they have access uh, to your information. Um, the sky's the limit if someone gets access to your cellular network, um, especially in this day and age where T-Mobile is making mobile hotspots. You definitely don't want someone ordering a mobile hotspot uh, in your name, and then you flip in a bill for paying for someone's internet or phone service. Your next tip is always, always, always make sure that you're using different passwords for all of your online accounts. I know I just talked about this, but it's very important that you understand that passwords are key as far as keeping criminals out of your information. But the important, why, the important reason why other important reason why it's important to use different passwords for online accounts because data breaches happen all the time and it's kind of hard to keep track of it but um you definitely don't hear about most of the data breaches that do occur because the companies that get breached don't make the news and i'm going to look up a site here um it used to be called fighting identity crimes um, and I'm trying to type that in here, but the, the fact of the matter is, is that there are, um, companies that get breached and you don't know anything about it. So it's important to make sure that you are finding out when these breaches occur by looking at tech news or asking a tech expert like myself and, finding out when the latest and greatest data breaches are occur. I can't find that website, but keep in mind, you can contact me to find out what the latest breaches are. So our next step is to make sure that you're using two-step or two-factor authentication on all of your devices. Now, basically, and this is a kind of an odd thing because one of the things that they warn about as far as the T-Mobile breach is concerned is the way that you get your two-step authentication. So in most instances, when you have two-step authentication, uh, if, some, if someone tries to access your device and you didn't authorize them to do it, the two-step factor authentication will send you a text alert letting you know that someone is trying to access your Google or Facebook or T-Mobile account. Now, when that text message comes through, you can confirm that you're the one logging into the device and then you are granted access. Now, in light of this T-Mobile breach with the two-step or two-factor authentication, what is being recommended is that you set it up so that the app lets you know. So if you haven't been a fan of the T-Mobile app, download it because if you, you can use it as the second step of the two-step authentication so that if someone's trying to log into your account, or if you're trying to log into your account, then you definitely can make sure that the app is gonna notify you. Because the problem with the whole text message scenario, especially when you're dealing with a mobile carrier, is that if someone already has access to your information, which, you know, it, it could be happening right now, you definitely want to um, make sure that it's coming through the app as opposed to coming to text messages, because normally cyber criminals will take over the phone and the text messaging aspects of your account as opposed to the app version of your account. Very little people use the app for their cell phone carrier. I know with um, I know with Verizon, who I have, I very rarely use uh, their app. So definitely take a moment to download the T-Mobile app. Now, one of the last things and then there's more stuff that I need to share that you need to do is to sign up for credit protection services. 
anytime you have a data breach that affects or that leaks out social security information, uh, you need to sign up for a credit monitoring service. Now, T-Mobile is going to offer the services to affected customers, but in this day and age, it may not be an idea to sign up for some credit protection services. Or better yet, if you're in a position where you've got all the stuff that you want and you don't think that you need to uh, use your credit for anything, you can freeze your credit. But credit protection services, in, for the most part, work good because these services monitor your accounts to see if there's any fraudulent activity going on. Basically, it's a, a watchdog. So some of the services that you can sign up for would be uh, LifeLock, which is through Norton. Uh, so go with the LifeLock. I'm not a fan of the antivirus software. Uh, other things that people can do if they don't necessarily want to sign up for LifeLock is that you could sign up for Credit Karma, which is a free app and website that at least allows you to monitor what's going on with your credit. Now, some people don't recommend that you go with Credit Karma, but I think it's a good way to always see if there is any changes to your credit report. Because in light of a breach like this, definitely criminals are going to take advantage of the fact that they've got Social Security numbers. So it definitely opens up the arena of identity theft, of course, tax fraud and other things that involve social security numbers. Uh, one of the other things that you need to be aware of as far as this T-Mobile breach is concerned is the amount of spam and phishing calls that you may be experiencing. One of the major ways that cyber criminals are attacking people now, and this goes into the whole 99% of cyber crime requires user interaction, is that many scammers are turning towards um, phishing emails, uh, vishing, which is voice um, phishing where you get the call from the IRS or any other entity saying that you're in trouble and they're going to bust down the door and take you to jail. And then of course, SMS or smishing, which is text phishing. So if you have been affected or a T-Mobile customer, you definitely need to be aware of the fact that you may see an increase of phishing and smishing and, uh, just regular old vishing scams that are going to come across your your smartphone. So you really need to be aware uh, of this because that is one of the goals of these data breaches other than identity theft is to, is to get access uh, to that information so that people can scam you out, out of your money. And you can become a victim of multiple scams, especially if they have your phone number. Because with this breach, with personal information out, like first name, last name, then scammers can call you and address you by your first name, making you think that they're calling from a trusted source. Under most circumstances, scammers will call you or text you or, um, oh gosh, email you with a, a generic message hoping that you buy it. But with your personal information, they definitely can custom tailor that to you, ask you if you're who you say you are, and um, they can be a little bit more successful as far as getting your personal information. So be wary of that. Uh, one last thing that I will give out as far as advice is concerned is don't give out your smartphone number or your cell phone number unless you are dealing with close friends and family. Um, the more that your number is out there, the more or the more cyber criminals are able to use that number against you. If you want to look at an alternative, you can use WhatsApp as a alternative phone number to use and call through the app when you're making calls or give out that WhatsApp number rather than your mobile number. Same thing with Google Voice. You could sign up with Google Voice, which is free, and use a Google Voice number to, to hand out to people as opposed to dealing with uh, giving out your regular mobile phone number. So in light of this breach, if you are a T-Mobile customer, don't wait until T-Mobile connect or contacts you directly. You want to take steps immediately. And with any other breach that you think will affect you, you want to take the steps that I've listed in this video to make sure that you keep your personal information safe and secure. Because if you wait, Cyber criminals sometimes will act on this immediately. And the next thing you know, you've either become a victim of identity theft 
or you will fall victim to any of the phishing, vishing, or smishing schemes that could affect you on your mobile device. So with that said, if you've got comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you to find out if I can answer any of your questions about this T-Mobile breach or any other cybersecurity threats that are out there. But with every video, Burton has to beg, so be sure if you like this video to like or subscribe um, on whatever platform you're watching this on and make sure that you share this video with all your friends to help them get tips and tricks to help them keep safe from this cybersecurity threat. Also, uh, be sure to follow myself, Burton Kelso, the technology expert on all of the social media platforms listed above in the wrong corner, there we go. And my company Integral, same thing, wrong corner, there we go. <laughs> be sure to follow us to get the latest on the on tech uh, threats, tech tips, and anything else associated with our digital life. So with that said, I love technology and I've read all the manuals and I'm serious about making technology fun, safe, and easy to use for everyone. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile and thanks for watching.